In this video, we'll find the number of protons, neutrons, electrons, and the mass number for Br. That's bromine. So for bromine, there are two really major isotopes, bromine 79 and 81. The only difference between isotopes, the only thing that's going to be different with isotopes, that's the neutrons. And because of that, the mass number will be different too. But those are the only things that are different. Everything else is the same. So let's start out looking at the atomic number for bromine here. This number right here on the periodic table, that's the atomic number. Bromine has an atomic number of 35. That's the identity of bromine. For protons, the atomic number equals the number of protons by definition. So we have 35 protons. Let's skip neutrons. We'll go back to that in a moment. When we look at the periodic table, something like bromine, there's no negative or positive sign after it. This is a neutral element. All the elements on the periodic table, they're neutral. That means their number of protons equals their number of electrons. And that makes sense. Equal numbers of positive and negative charges, they balance out, give us a neutral compound. So since we have 35 protons, we'll have 35 electrons. So at this point, we need to look at the neutrons and the mass number. Often you're given one of these and then asked to figure the other one out when you're given a table like this. Sometimes they'll give you this information here, bromine 79. That's 79, that's the mass number. Likewise, we have a mass number of 81. And the mass number, that's the number of protons plus the number of neutrons. So we could say protons plus neutrons equals the mass number. 35 plus 44, 35 plus 44, that gives us 79. Another way to do it, we could take the number, the mass number, 81 minus 35. That would give us 46 neutrons for this bromine 81. If you had a sample of bromine gas, for instance, or bromine liquid, and you looked at the mass numbers, if you looked at the abundance of each one of these isotopes, you'd find that 51% is going to be bromine 79, and about 49% would be the bromine 81. So we average these together to get the average atomic mass based on how much there are. Since they're about the same, should be right between 79 and 81. And it's 79.90. So that's pretty close to between these two numbers. So the average atomic mass, that's an average of the masses of each one of the isotopes here based on the abundance, how much is there. This is Dr. B with the protons, neutrons, electrons, and the mass number for bromine. Thanks for watching.